second day of Intel XC Masters. I'm here with Gamit Gaming, Sadie Gary Pinoy. How do you feel right now? Uh, I'm a bit tired, but I'm okay. You're okay. Well, I wanted to talk about, with you more in general about your time in Gamit. And it started back in September when you joined the team for promotion relegation tournaments. Uh, you must have been very motivated to perform well and possibly earn a place on the team. Was it like that? Uh, I was super motivated when I got asked that I uh, had a chance to play in the promotion tournament for the team and I just did my best to prepare myself how it was to play in such environment because I came from the challenger scene and it's a stay way uh, step up like uh, from the challenger scene into playing for a former LCS team, former really legendary team. So stepping up from Genja's position as well is like I had huge shoes to fill I would say because it's like this team was super good. So I'm just still trying to do my best and just trying to improve. But were you worried at all because you had to replace Genji and you know how the fans are, they will always remember the first lineup? Uh, I tried to uh, avoid that, like reading this kind of stuff, just trying to think about myself, how would I perform and just try to do my best. I was a bit um, uh, afraid of like how I would play in the promotion tournament. Am I gonna fail for other people's job? Because I was just a sub, so I had those thoughts, but I just tried to do my best and we did well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it worked out well, and the next tournament you attended was with a newer lineup, Kaba Shards replaced Kuban, and were you worried at all going into IM Cologne? No, we had a lot of practice, uh, three or four weeks straight with really good practice, and we just uh, showed up like really great, and it was nice playing against uh, some international teams, uh, NA, and it was a super fun experience to have, and we played that tournament pretty well as a team. <laughs> well, you mentioned multiple times that you were you are a fan of Doublelift, so what was it like playing against him? Yeah, it was uh, an honor playing against him, of course, and the first game was really fun when I got to kill him 1v1 and 2v2 uh, uh, several times. <laughs> So um, then LCS began, you moved to Berlin, things weren't working out so well. Uh, how did you take it personally? Because you were coming out hot from IAM Cologne. Uh, it was a bit uh, demotivating losing so many games, but we also really had to get us together and the season is not so long anymore, so you really have to take each game very serious. So we just, uh, when we got our internet and our coach in the house, we just prepared fully and we just went on the winning streak and we're still trying to like try to be the best team in Europe. Well, right after I am Cologne, you began streaming for a while and it seemed like you were really enjoying it and you got affection from your fans. So, what was this experience like? It was a really nice experience. I didn't actually expect that I would get so much uh, love or like so many people like uh, cheering for me and coming in and say they enjoyed my stream and I really miss streaming so once we have a break from playoffs uh, I will start streaming again. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, is it okay during the LCS especially champion select you like to goof out a lot <laughs> is there any particular reason or are you just trying to feel like at home to alleviate the pressure mm, i just try to like relax uh, uh, being comfort in myself just uh, try to feel as good as possible before going into the game yeah okay um you have played at this tournament it's probably the hardest tournament you had so far it's international competition, Korean teams, so how do you think you have performed? Uh, I didn't perform as uh, we wanted to, like me individually and as a team, uh, but it's just an experience we take and it's just an experience we try to move on and take this experience and try to work with it forward. And could you pinpoint maybe something that you are willing to improve on personally? Uh, try to... Uh, Look, uh, how you can like if like in EU there's a lot of where AD carries are farming or others are farming, and while in the other regions they don't seem to care as much as about farming, but about pressuring the map. So I'm definitely gonna look at the replay, see what we can work as a team, like how you can pressure more, because in EU there are a bit more farming than pressuring. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of EU AD carries, the most hype on is obviously forgiven, <clears throat> but could you explain what is it exactly that makes him so good? Uh, his uh, trademark is obviously perfect laning, he uh, outlanes the enemy opponent and he 
outtrades them and he perfect CS and it's just really hard to play against him. He positioned himself really good in team fight and he's just a super good AD carry overall. Well, there are only four games left in the LCS and at this point it's almost guaranteed that you're gonna make it to playoffs. How do you feel about that? Uh, I feel great. Uh, it's a super good spot being in this because we had a 05 and things weren't looking the best and people were already counting us out and it's really great to have such comeback and it gives us a, lo a lot of confidence going into the rest of the season. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you will perform well at playoffs. Do you have anything else to say? Thanks to all the fans and I hope I can make some more fun to you guys and thanks for staying with us even though we're three new members for the new Gambit, so thanks. Thank you for this interview.